tutorial. Come on, Link. Come on. No, Link. No. Hey there, guys, and welcome to another episode of Evident Design. This one will be about a cool technique that you can use for finding the perspective in paintings and photos. It's a simple script that you can use inside of Photoshop and is very easy to use. So let's not play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and uh, get into this tutorial. Alright, so we're inside Photoshop CC 2017 and we're gonna look at this nifty Photoshop script. I've been using it a lot when I want to figure out the perspective of certain interesting photos and paintings and sometimes I use the perspectives in my own paintings to practice or uh, to achieve the same look. And there are many ways this can be used quite favorably. Now let's say I have this painting right here and I want to create a perfect perspective grid of this painting. I could simply paint in uh, some quick lines to get a decent sketchy perspective, but there's an easier way and that's by using uh, these scripts right here. So per create, per horizon, uh, and all uh, these these ones right here. And I'm, I don't know the one who created these because I've had them for so many years and I, I checked on Google, but I really can't find. So if anyone knows who, who did these, who scripted these, um, I'd like to know. I remember they were free back then. Um, so you have uh, you have several points, right? So you have the three, a three point perspective, two point and one point. And we want to figure out what what points we have in in our in our painting right now. So uh, one point is right it was right here, so it converges down. You can see all these vertical lines. Uh, they're converging down here somewhere. And then we have another point. that converges, you know, here somewhere, over here. They all point there, right? These arrows, kind of, uh, these lines. And then we have one more that converge somewhere over here. Now, we could do that and then have a, you know, decent sketchy perspective, but we want to get a perfect perspective. So what we can do is select the pen tool and then click, oh, sorry, pen tool, and choose two points on that, uh, on one of the, um, the lines there, and then hit um, command or control. So we deselect kind of, but we still have these points. And then try to find a spa another line in that uh, point, but try to, try to keep it kind of spaced so it knows the entire range uh, and it, it's uh, easier to it's easier to do mistakes if you do it too, too short. So let's pick let's say this one right here. Let's do that line there. There we go. So now we have two lines that I created with the pen tool. I can go up to File Scripts and then Per Create, and it'll give me this modifier right here. So um, this will tell me how many lines I want. So let's do. Uh, let's keep it at, yeah, let's do two. You see how it looks. So now I created these very small thin lines here. Uh, let's see if I can change this to a brighter one. Yeah. So you see it created these lines and they fit with the uh, the perspective, the, the, the vertical perspective kind of. And we could do the same thing for the other ones. So Pick this one here. It's a pretty good one. And then maybe this one. This line right there. And then do the same thing. So before before I, I do this, uh, I can go to settings here, per settings. And that'll I can change here the, the line width and the layer opacity. So I could do the layer opacity maybe at 50. And the line width could be a bit thicker. So let's use 3. Save that, and then we go to scripts, procreate, do the two as well there, press OK. 
now you see thicker lines here, more pronounced. Um, let's do that with the other one as well. Long, good lines to get a good average. And then we have this one right there. And then scripts for create two. That's better. And we can actually change the colors of these um, in a bit. So let's do the third one. So now we've done two lines. We can do the third one, which is uh, this one that converges here somewhere. And that's can take this line here. Wait, let's not. Let's do another one. Uh, let's do there. Line running right there. That's good. And perhaps. Mm, it's not perfect, but oh, but it works. So th the way this works is that it converges where where these two lines intersect. That's where it'll start. Uh, con con what's it called? Um, like that's that's the source of of all the of, of the point. I guess that's where the point is. And then for create two. There we go. So uh, we can change the colors of these. Let's press Command U or Control U. Colorize. Let's do blue. And then Command Alt U. And do maybe yellow. That's the red. And then this one can be <clears throat> green. Can group these together. So now we have a perspective grid that we can use, and it's the exact same uh, grid that that was on this uh, image here. And you can do this for any kind of uh, painting or photo. So if we look at this one, for example. This one is actually more like a one point perspective, but it has the, all three points. It's just it's just that they converge very far away. Um, you could just use a single you know one point perspective here and later on just uh, use free transform and do a little perspective transform. But if I show you here how the perspective for this one looks, you can see that, uh, the most obvious one is a point right here somewhere because you can see where the lines are sort of converging in like this one right here. They're all converging here somewhere. So we could, we could do a few points here. And then this one is pretty good. And then we just do the same thing. Let's do one now because I thought two was too many. So you see there, that, that's that's our one point perspective. And we could use that right as it is. Like there's the horizon line and we could start painting in. And we would get very similar results if we painted this in one point perspective. Uh, but you can see that some of these are actually tilted and that means we have more points. And the same for this part here, it's a little bit slanted there. So we could do, do that as well, where we take to this pillar right there, and then maybe some something right here. Oh, that wasn't too good. And then go to scripts for create. Now you can see it's almost vertical, but not entirely, it gives us a little bit of a frog perspective, a little, little bit. Um, it's not super useful to have that. You could just do one point, but this works too. And then you can use the other one as well, where, let's see, if we have some good line here. I think this one is the hardest because it's almost, 
There's almost nothing there. Uh, let's do... Here's a little line. Yeah, it's a little slanted there. So that's our perspective for, for this photo. And then we can start painting in as well if we, if we want to use this perspective and study it. And then we have this one here. It's the same thing goes, you know, I'll do two two lines as far separate as possible so you get the full range and as long as possible so we avoid having any mistakes. And then one line for that part. So then we have uh, one point there, one point up here, and also this line right there. So we could do maybe that. And then we have one point over here. So that gives us another, th uh, another three point perspective grid that we can use. So that's how that works and I will um, I will uh, include the, the scripts in the description, so I have uploaded them. And if anyone knows anything about who created these, I'd like to know. And there are a few other things as well, like per horizon. Uh, I haven't really tried these very well, but yeah, you can, you can play around with them. I don't know what, what they're super use, used for, but um, I just use per create and then per settings. Now, once you've learned how to extract the perspectives from paintings and photos, you can start using it in your own paintings and starting to learn more about how perspective works and uh, starting practicing more and thinking about it more. I think it's a great practice to do this. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers, guys. Link, link, link. I liked you more when you were sailing. <laughs>